The four lifts presented in this video are designed to exercise the pectoralis major and minor muscles, which extend from the sternum to the upper arm. The pectoralis minor muscle lies under the pectoralis major muscle group and is commonly not shown on muscle charts. Depending on the lifts, these muscles will be worked differently. Therefore, a variety of lifts is recommended. The first lift is the bench press, which uses an Olympic bar and a bench. This is one of the lifts used to evaluate your improvement and technique. The prime movers for this lift are the pectoralis major and minor. This lift requires a spotter. Lie on the bench with your feet on the floor and your buttocks and shoulders on the bench. Your back should be slightly arched. Grip the bar on the rack symmetrically overhand and wide enough so that your forearms will be perpendicular to the floor when the bar is at chest height. This is usually about a hand's width wider than the shoulders. Lift the bar from the rack and lower it to the nipple area of the chest. Your elbows should be out away from your body. Allow the bar to touch your chest lightly, but do not bounce it off your chest before pushing it back up until your arms are straight. Avoid moving your feet, overarching your back, raising your hips, resting the bar on your chest, bouncing the bar off your chest, having an incomplete lift by not lowering the bar until it touches the chest, and raising one side of the bar faster than the other. The spotter will assist the lifter when necessary. The next lift is the incline bench press, which uses an Olympic bar and incline bench, and is similar to the bench press in its action. The prime movers for this lift are the pectoralis major and minor, with emphasis on the upper part of these muscles. Adjust the seat so you can position yourself high enough to reach the bar, but low enough to have room to move the bar unimpeded. Lie on the bench with your feet on the floor and your buttocks and shoulders on the bench. Your back should be slightly arched. Grip the bar on the rack symmetrically overhand and wide enough so that your forearms will be perpendicular to the floor when the bar is at chest height. This is usually about a hand's width wider than the shoulders. Lift the bar from the rack and lower it to the chest above the nipples but below the neck. Your elbows should be out away from your body. Allow the bar to touch your chest lightly but do not bounce it off your chest before pushing it back up until your arms are straight. Avoid moving your feet, overarching your back, raising your hips, resting the bar on your chest, bouncing the bar off your chest, having an incomplete lift by not lowering the bar until it touches the chest, and raising one side of the bar faster than the other. The spotter will assist the lifter when necessary. The next lift is the bench butterfly or fly, which uses dumbbells and a bench. The prime movers for this lift are the pectoralis major and minor. Grip a dumbbell in each hand and lie back on the bench with your feet on the floor and your buttocks and shoulders on the bench. Your back should be slightly arched. Raise the dumbbell to a point above your shoulders with your elbows slightly bent. Lower the dumbbells out to the sides of your chest in a semicircular motion without changing the angles of your elbows. Stop when the dumbbells reach the height of the bench. Raise the dumbbells to the starting position along the same semicircular path. Avoid changing the angles of your elbows and swinging the weight. It may be necessary to use a spotter when working with heavier weights. The final exercise is the pec deck flies using a machine. The prime movers for this exercise are the pectoralis major and minor. Adjust the seat so you can grip the handles just below shoulder level. 
sit on the seat with your back flat against the back support and your feet flat on the floor. Adjust the arms of the machine so you can grip them with your arms out directly from your sides in the same plane as your torso and so that you can achieve a full range of motion. Grip the handles with your arms straight and move them in a semicircular motion toward the front of your body while keeping your arms straight. Stop just before the arms of the machine meet and return them along the same semicircular path to the starting position. Avoid changing the angles of your elbows and do not allow the weight plates to crash down. Although there are several other exercises that utilize the pectoralis muscle group, you should now know the proper technique for bench press, incline bench press, bench butterflies, and pec deck flies.